Hello everyone, I am Saitith and welcome back to my channel Saitith and in today's video I will do the Android benchmark test on the OnePlus Nord 2 device by using the gain space and by using the high performance mode and also using the RAM boost. Yes friends, the OnePlus Nord 2 there is an option which is called the RAM boost. Let me try to show you exactly. So if you try to go to the settings and if you try to go to the additional settings, so here you can actually find the option which is called the RAM boost. So I need to enable this as you can see I did enable the RAM boost just now and the high performance mode also enabled. Let me try to show you for the confirmation. So is a high performance mode is also enabled and let me to clear all the background applications. So all the background applications are completely clean and disable the Wi-Fi and 50% brightness and the Android benchmark test application is also added into the games. So in the games as well as you can see it's added into the games as well as a game space. Let's see now by using this kind of method will the Android benchmark score will actually increase or not when compared with the before score. That is what I'm going to exactly check. This is the score which I got before. So let me try to take the screenshot. So we can actually compare so before and now so how much difference is there in terms of the benchmarks i mean cpu and the gpu how much it is it got increased or decreased and during this time i'll try to even check the temperatures mainly i'll try to focus on that one as well so first let me go back and uh, start the test and 50 percent brightness everything is set yes so let's see friends how much the temperature can actually increase so right now the temperature is of close to 33 degrees only during this process of demonstration not much 33.2 and back side is of 32 degrees as you can see and my room temperature is pretty normal it's only 30 degrees at this moment 30 degrees only my room temperature so a lot of users they, they actually uh, did ask me some question that can you please try to use this kind of settings and can you do annual benchmark test because they just want to see will it affect any kind of uh, cpu and the gpu scores or any kind of annual benchmark score in terms of the performance that is what i'm going to test so I thought of sleeping and before sleeping I just read all the comments and most of the people they did mention this kind of thing. So right now the time is about 12.10 so maybe after some time I'll try to sleep after this video hopefully. So let's see friends I'm doing this time I'm really concentrating on the temperatures on the back side. In the OnePlus Nord 2 you will try to notice the temperatures will get higher in this kind of camera bump area. Right now it's 34 degrees 33 and 34 not bad. Exactly, and the frame side it also increased to 35 degrees as well, right now, 35.2, 35.4 as you can see friends, clearly 35.6. So again, we'll be back after some time, so then we'll be able to see how much the temperature score actually increased in this phone. So right now, as you can see friends, the uh, percentage is about 64% and the temperature increased to 38.4 degrees as you can see. 38.4 degrees right now, that is the highest temperature so far it reached 38.6. And on the back set 38.2. So 38.2 on the back set 37.8, not bad. So 38.8. Let's see. So till now the highest was 38.8 during this time of Android benchmark test. I'll be checking the temperatures continuously. I just want to note down what is the highest temperatures the phone did reach by using this kind of uh, high performance mode and using the RAM boost and using the game space and everything. All those can, this kind of functionalities. So in this way, we'll be able to get to know always the performance. Let's see whether we can actually increase the speeds of the score of the this phone or not in terms of the CPU and the GPU scores. That is what my main focus will be there. So right now, let's check the temperatures. How much the highest? 37.8. Not bad. The temperature started to decrease, I think, a little bit. But 38.8 is the highest so far recorded in this uh, OnePlus Nord 2 device. As you can see, 38.8 is a before, but right now 38.2 is the highest I can check. So again, we'll be back after some time. Let's see how much the CPU and the GPU and back side near the camera. It's again 37.4, not bad, 37.5. So on the back side, and this is my first time doing this kind of test using the RAM boost. So before I did not turn on any time, so I need to make sure that maybe from next time. So whenever I'm do, trying to do the speed test or any kind of multitasking test, I'll try to make sure that to turn on those kind of options, then I'll try to test as well, yes. I'll try to follow those kind of methods first, definitely. Maybe tomorrow I'll try to uh, do those kind of speed test results as well using this kind of settings, RAM boost and all this uh, high performance mode and everything. Just to check how is the performance in this phone. Is it got affected or not? So in case if you have any other queries regarding this OnePlus Nord 2, don't forget to comment below. So definitely I'll try to read the comments. I may not be able to reply to you but still I'll be able to uh, See, read it and I'll try to do the video as soon as possible for you all. So right now it's kind of close to 90% the 
code and temperature is about 37.6 the only reason i'm trying to continue this kind of video recording instead of showing you the direct end result is because of and you need you should know the temperatures what is the temperatures at what kind of stage that is the main reason of me doing this kind of long and lengthy video taking my time so right now it's 38 percentage 38 not bad As you can see friends, that's fantastic. The score got increased. Wow, that's 6,69,000 in the OnePlus Nord 2. I think maybe by enabling this kind of options, then we can actually experience this kind of high range of performance in this phone. I cannot just believe it friends. Right now the time is about 12.20 and my complete sleep has gone after seeing this kind of, this kind of score. I'm really impressed. Wow, that's fantastic. After using this kind of all modes i mean uh, high performance mode and, and using this kind of uh, gain space mode and everything as you can see gain space mode and using the ram boost as well so maybe that might be the reason why the ram memory got boosted i think so i'm not sure but exactly this is going to be really epic one so maybe from tomorrow i need to do this kind of testings i'll try to redo the speed test and everything so don't worry friends in case if you're planning to buy the oneplus not two so make sure to stay tuned at least for uh, two days next couple of days I'll definitely upload uh, plenty of speed test comparison by using RAM boost and all this kind of high performance and everything. So then we'll be able to compare what is happening. So maybe I, even I need to do the CPU throttling as well once by using the RAM boost and everything. But it's really good. It's really very, very good. Very good. Wow. I cannot just believe it friends. The score actually got kind of close to Realme X1 Max. So till now, I think I was even blaming the... Like, I think I was even uh, shocked by the Realme X and Max scores actually to be frank but even the OnePlus Nord 2 also can get that kind of scores it got up to 6,70,000 it's kind of really good so before it was 5,50,000 I think 5,97,000 it did not even cross 6 lakhs before that's fantastic wow I just can't believe it but let's see how is the screenshot uh, before what is the CPU and the GPU test results before and now let me to compare so this is a before I taken the screenshot 5 lakhs 97 and this is a after you can see the CPU 166 I don't just lighting is a brightness why did I keep it low yeah now I can increase yeah now you can see the CPU scores 177 and 166 236 the GPU and 195 GPU got boosted a lot oh my god that's kind of really strange to see this kind of huge bump in the GPU that's Serious friends, I cannot uh, believe this kind of huge bump. That's really good to see in this OnePlus Nord 2 finally. I think it's, it may happen. Let's see. So let's, I'll try to do the speed test comparison and RAM management test as well by comparing with other smartphones using this kind of RAM boost option which is present in the OnePlus Nord 2. Let's see what's going to happen maybe tomorrow. I'll try to focus. Don't worry. So make sure to comment below what are the other videos you want me to do using this kind of settings exactly. I'll try to do the event CPU totaling as soon as possible. So right now I think the time is about 12.20 maybe if possible I'll try to do the video today itself and I'll try to upload. So thank you for watching this video friends and that's it in the next video but I'm really very much happy and my complete sleep has gone right now but I'll try to focus on the OnePlus Nord 2 just now. So thank you for watching and don't forget to check the playlist friends please try to follow the playlist. Please at least follow the playlist before actually buying the device. Try to check each and every video so then you can definitely understand what is happening. So thank you friends again I'll be back after uh, next maybe tomorrow and i'll try to do plenty of speed test and see in the next video and then stay tuned for more updates meanwhile bye